Good let's morning. Go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Happy Sunday, Ed. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. All right, bro. Doing all right. Doing man, right. you've been on a world tour. Man, world tour, <laughs> world tour, world tour. Man, one, one thing. I mean, we say how how fast this thing be going. You know, we get a chance to you know sit back and and, and enjoy the fruits of our labor. The one thing yeah. I was when I was driving this one, man, I said, bro, I can speak on this one on your behalf, brother. We work hard. We work hard. I'm talking about capital H, capital A. Capital R, yeah. ain't no little yeah. D. Capital D, hard. Yeah. Like yeah. hard in the paint. Hard, I mean, hard, bro. Hard. Sometimes six, seven days a week. I know our spouses be hearing us talk about it all the time because it's just, this is just what we do. We love we love it. We wear it. You yeah, you wear I mean? it. You wear it. So, yeah, so, yeah. So, got a chance to, you know, maybe just hang out for a little bit and, 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 and see my stuff. family and all the good stuff. But it was, all, it was all good, man. How about you? Man, just chill. We're really working, man. Right. Yeah, so, I'm gonna get my my my, my break in a, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um. But right now I'm just going hard, man. Yeah, just go just, hard, just man. Just go staying hard. in touch with yeah. the market. Yeah. And one thing that I'm like, man. So we work hard. Am I always working smarter? And I, I would honestly say probably not, yeah. right? Because you know there's certain things that I hear that get that that you start chasing, right? You start chasing those little shiny coins. Mm-hmm. You know, you get you get start chasing these shiny topics. You know, well, what's going on with this person? What's going on with that person? Yeah. Well, what's going on with this? Or well, what's going on with that? Well, how about this loan program? Or well, how about that loan program? Or well, how about that? And it's just so much information because it's info sharing that's happening that you really got to just dial it back. And, and one thing you said even before the pre-show is like dial it back to understanding what is it that you do well and what is it that that really matters. Right. What really matters. Right. Yeah. And, and we, like we were talking about uh, chasing trends. Yeah. So everybody's chasing the hot topic of the day and the yeah. trends <laughs> and, the, you know, and, 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 and not only just with you know, just in general, but in the real estate market. Oh, you know, it's, it's so big, it, it, it was a seller's market. Now right. it's a buyer's market. Right. You know, what do we do? Mm-hmm. Um, but if you chase trends, you find yourself just running and running and running and running. Like, and to your point, you got to slow it down and just make sense of all of this. Some of these topics that I'm seeing out here, what does it have to do with me? I had, I had this conversation with my kids right before we came in here. What do you think about this in Kyrie? What do you think about that? I'm like, man, I'm about to go to the radio station. <laughs> right. This is going to be on and on and on. And, I, and you, you do want to have a conversation and, mm-hmm. and just kind of address it. But I can't address every topic. Yeah. If, if it doesn't have anything to do with me directly. Right. I got to keep it pushing. Yeah. I, gotta, yeah. I, I have to have tunnel vision. Right. Right. Because like you just said, you get on a hamster wheel and you just be running. And all of a sudden you you, you run out of. You run out of ideas. You you run out of space. You run out of. I mean, like look at it. Look at a computer, right? Computers have they got these hard drives, right? Well, we got a hard drive in us, and and if you ain't Say that. if you ain't debugging that hard drive at times, if if you're not, um, man, if you're not if you're not you know going and doing a a virus scan on on, a, on your hard drive, your internal hard drive, then you going that that computer is going to do what? Right. It, it's going to break down. Right. It, it's going it's, you're going to get that blue screen when you go turn it on and it'll turn on. And then you get into you know, if a person agrees or doesn't agree with you, and right. then you get into that whole thing, right? Right, right, So right. if a person doesn't agree with how you feel, yep. now, let's cancel them. I'm going to unfriend them. Yeah. You're nothing to me. Yeah. You know, and all that, that whole thing. But to me, I I, I don't know about anybody else. I'm all, I'm trying to get positive energy. I, I need that positive energy to push me through. I can't. I can't tackle every topic. Right. That's, so, and that's why like every trend. That's why and that's why I'm careful on what I allow in. Right. Mm. Because to your point, yeah, I I mean, yeah, it's cool to have the positivity around you and all that good stuff. And that's 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 no doubt, of course. But at the same time, I gotta have what's within me because everybody's gonna fail at one point, right? We're all human. So everybody's not gonna be always positive, or everybody's not gonna always be able to give you what you need at that time. So again, it's like, what do you have inside? To your point, if I'm not chasing everything. I'm just knowing what's inside me. What's my foundation? Right. And I understand that foundation for myself. You know, uh, one of our good friends, uh, uh, Uncle Sean, you know, he, he has a thing called Lanes. And, you know, he tells a story and all that good stuff. But, you know, Lanes is something that he actually, he, he incorporated it. Mm. He incorporated Lanes, L-A-N-E-S. And sure. it was leaving all negativity. Um, wait a minute, Lanes. Leaving all negatively. Um, what's the E? He's going to kill me. Um Energy. Something's energy, yeah. 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 Leaving yeah. all negative energy swiftly. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Ed. See, <laughs> see, this is live, y'all. We live with this. This ain't rehearsal. Yeah. All that, but but that's but swiftly. Yeah. That's the whole part of being swift with it. So yeah, you know, and and the trends part of you know, think about the distractions. 
Think about the distractions with these trends, right? Oh, this person going about this person, or that person got shot, or that person just made a, a comment to, to Kanye, to, you know, uh, uh, yeah, Kyrie, yeah, and Megan Thee Stallion, yeah. and then you know Drake, Drake and, yeah. and, and and then all this. You know what they all got in common? They pay. <laughs> they got money. <laughs> they got it. So they yeah. they, they, they trying to they want to be if you if they got you if they got us talking about them they won. Yeah. If they got us talking about them they won. So. The part of it is like, all right, well, I'm not going to necessarily be talking to worry about that. Let me make sure I'm a vote this this year. Let me make sure I'm a vote. Let me make sure I'm not getting these hidden distractions of all this time, this 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 rhetoric and all this nonsense out here. I will make sure I'm a vote. You know, just like you know. So again, I'm not going to worry about all this negative and all this this energy or whatever it is. It may not even be negative, but whatever it is. But I'm gonna make sure that I buy that house. Right. right? It's coming to the end of the year. We're not lying. Like, it, it, like you know, it's, it's only a few months left in the year. But what is your goal? You all had goals. Did you achieve those goals? And and then you may not have achieved all your goals, right? Right. That's part of life. Right. I haven't achieved all my goals. But then do you reset? Do you reset and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do to go about our goals, right? Right. At the end of the day, whether it be a buyer, a buyer market, seller market, or both or a mix, at the end of the day, you have to be ready to purchase. You have to have income. You have to have assets. You have to have credit. Those things have not changed what kind of market it is. Nah, that ain't Those no trend. <laughs> that ain't no trend. That's just what it is on any given day. That's what it is. And, and, and sometimes just talking to a couple of uh, prospects, you know, because of the uptick of the rate, you know, some people are like, they, it's still certain things that you have to do. You have to fill out the application. You have to uh, give your W-2s, bank statements, and all of that. That hasn't changed because the rate has changed. Right. Um, so it's, it's certain things that we do day in, day out. That's why I don't, I try not to chase trends. Correct. You know, if, if you don't chase trends, I mean, you are the trend. Yeah. You know, that's how yeah. I look at it. Let me ask you a question. I know a lot of people are kind of down. I've heard about some layoffs and different things going on in the industry. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Cause everybody has to have something that they do to get back into the, to the vibe and into the rhythm when you have a bad day or a bad week. Yeah. What I love that you're doing is you you you're hitting that reset button. You go to games. You mm -hmm. you go out of town and do so. What do you do? What is what does T do? Yeah. When you when you have a, a, a challenging day or a challenging week, right? And you're trying to get your head back in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I, I got a punching bag at home, so I get on a punching bag. Real talk, for real. Real talk. I got a punching bag. I, I'll take a picture of it when I get home and I'll show it to you. Yeah. So I got a punching bag, and I, I wear that thing out. I wear it out. Wear it out. Oh, oh Lord, I wear it out. Yeah. And I wear wear, wear it out because you got to release. Yeah, release what's going on, right? And and again, at the so that's one part of it. The other piece of it is, you know, what what qualifies a bad day, right? You know, oh, a loan didn't close or a person didn't get approved, right? I had a few of those last week, right? They didn't get approved, right? And you got to communicate that news to folks. And, and I understand that, you know, oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about, all that. Well, okay, well, your debt to income ratio is too high. You you had some missed payments. Your your credit score is too low. Like right. there's some things that you got to look in the mirror and do. But at the same time, to your point, it's like. I'm cho I guess you're going back to that whole part, you know, because you, you see it, but choosing your heart, mm. choosing your heart, because the things that we do, yes, we do for our, a living. Yes, we do for 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 the greater good. Right. Of our communities. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, we're not we, we're not curing cancer. You know, we, we're not we're not that kid that's in the hospital hooked up to tubes right now. You know, that's that's, that's, that's getting there. They're, they're on their last last leg. Like that's not that's hard. Yeah. So so yes. so, so 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 to your point. You know, what do I do? Yeah, I, I go to games. You know, I get with my family and all that. But I try not to take it home. I try not to. Here can we work. Try. So you try not to take it home. So you try to take it home. You know, he's like, all right, let me make a beeline. And let me just go sit by myself and, and be in my thoughts. You know, I ride. I ride. I easily ride in a car with no radio on. I do that a lot. Yeah. Just because sometimes you just need to be in your thoughts. Or you need to get your thoughts out. Right? Mm -hmm. So some, I don't always. I'm not going to tell you I'm the guy that listen to this podcast and ride and all that. Mm -mm. Sometimes more, more than likely I'm riding in silence. Yeah. I don't always ride and got something going on or I'm not on the phone talking to somebody because, you know, I mean, you're talking to people and they telling you what's going on or what's going on. You know, I mean, you're checking in with your people, but, you know, you got to you got to block some of that energy. So, yeah. So those are the things that I do. But right. again, I also think about, yes, physical workout, go punch that bag. Yes. You know, get out of town or, or, or go, you know, take a ride and, and do all those things. But at the same time, it's like getting out of your own way and understanding that, like, what's the hard part? Yeah. Because this is. I mean, I mean, you gonna have some loans that's gonna close. You are gonna have some loans that don't close. But what's what's gonna be the, like? What's the real hard? Like right. you didn't do it. Right. You tried. Yeah. So yeah. I know me myself. You you know I I, I write. 
Yeah. Yeah, so I go yeah. up to the studio. I hear it. Y'all hear it? And, 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 he talking about y'all when he raps. That's ah. y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I write, I write, I, I, uh, you know, believe it or not, the commercials I do are, are therapeutic. Mm-hmm. And that's part of my my, my uh, cycle uh, that I do. So when I don't do a commercial, it seems like the energy be off. Yeah. So it's like a it's like a system yeah. that I have going. Right. Um, but mostly writing, going out of town, traveling. Yeah. Um, just spending time with family. Yep. Um, but if I have a day and I, something happens real quick, I, I just listen to some music or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I try not to hold on to whatever that is. Right. If it's a deal that got pushed back or fell out or something happened, the longer you hold on to it, you already know, then you pretty much done. So if you talk, if it happened to you on Monday yep, and you still talking about it on Friday, yeah, <laughs> you gone. That, 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 that week is gone. You, you can't get that days. time back. Four days gone. Um, so what I've learned is whatever feelings I'm feeling, I try to get that out within 30 minutes to an hour. I'm human. Yep. Ride to some Jay-Z, something, some T.I. or whatever. Right, 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 right. Get you back. Get it out yep. and then get back to it and get yeah. to work. Because uh, yeah. we don't have a lot of time and to that- keep replaying things over and over, chasing trends, worrying about what somebody else is doing. I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing and how we can get people into these houses. Yep. People that are ready. If, if someone's not ready, something happened, that's a different story. But my job is to focus on getting people that are ready, mm-hmm. ready. Yeah, and, and think about it from that standpoint, from a readiness standpoint. You know, whether you're ready now or if you're not ready now, you maybe wasn't ready six months ago either. So right. that's why, again, you have to look into the mirror and say, okay, what do I need to do to get myself ready? Yeah. Who, who, what do I need to do? What have I already been told, right? Like I've already been told pay my bills on time. All right, if I've been paying my bills on time. I was told to save money. All right, I saved this money. Is that enough? Like, like, don't take blanket statements. Ask the question, mm-hmm. well, what does my credit score need to be? How right. much money do I need to save? You know, what's a lot to you, but it could be a little to me mm-hmm. and vice versa, right? So so you asking the questions of what is it that exactly I need? And those are the things that actually get you over the hump is when you really sit down and you dial back and you block out all that other stuff, blocking it all out. And you focused on me. I'm focused on my goal because at the end of the day, you gotta need a place to live, right? Right. Facts. Like, we're, we're like this is. Remember, we remember just a couple years ago, it was about the essential workers. Yeah. Well, this is an essential topic, right? Real estate is essential. It's essential that I need a roof over my head, right? Whether I'm living with somebody, whether I'm having a roommate, whether I'm renting, whatever, you got a place to live. You're right. not living in your car. You're not living at the shelter. You have a place to live, so that's essential. So right. we're not talking about okay, a, a, a car, right? Cars can be essential. The type of car you drive is not essential. Right. Everybody's not going to be able to drive a Mercedes Benz or, or or BMW. No, as long as you have something to crank up and you got four tires to get you to work, mm-hmm. you're good. Yep. It may not be what you want, but you're good. And same thing from a house standpoint, you're getting what you can afford. Right. Afford. Affordability. Right. So that's the part where I just want to drive that message home just with everybody is that you have to understand that it's all about affordability and what you can afford. I can't worry about chasing trends oh but they got this in their house i want that in my house that's cool but you don't know what they had to pay to get that in their house or vacations you see somebody post some pics you know somewhere exotic yeah exotica yeah that ain't even right but you see that and then Mm -hmm. you want to do that and so you have to look at where you're at how much money you have saved yep do i want to take this trip or do i want to use this money toward a down payment to buy a house Mm mm-hmm only you can determine that. We yeah. can't. I ain't I ain't your daddy. Right. Terrence ain't your daddy. Mm-hmm. Only you can determine what's important to you. If it were me, right. you know, I want a roof over my head. I, I would want right. to see my money. Correct. But everybody everybody is in different stages of their life, so I get it. Yeah. Um, but you, yeah. Gotta, you nah, have to it, prioritize. You got to prioritize. And, and it, not really worry about what someone else is doing. What, what, are, what are you doing? And what's priority to you is not priority to me. Right. What's priority to me is not priority to you. And that's okay. But but again, we're talking about what's essential. But those are the things that are essential. Right? So chasing, chasing, what are we chasing? This is, you're doing this for an audience of one. Audience of one. You choose the one. But it's just right. an audience of one person. Right. So so that's 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 effective, man. And it's tight. But that's the part where, you know, again, when when folks really start dialing it back and you sitting down like, okay, my goals, you know, my goal. To, 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 to rise this corporate ladder or my goal to open up that business or my goal, you know, to, 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 to get into home ownership or whatever the case may be, right? You got to really dissect 
and figure out, okay, how am I going to get there? Right. How am I going to get there? I'm not going to get there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to get there with a 600 credit score. We're not. We're not. We're not going. We're not going to achieve. No more five eighty. But we're not. We're not. We're not getting there. You. 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 You know how hard that's going to be, because again, a person's looking at. Okay, one. Can I sell the mortgage? Right. The other part is they're looking at is, are right, you going to pay me back? Mm. I see. I see you just. 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 Just eighteen months ago, you missed your minimum payment of twenty five dollars on your credit card. I understand stuff come up, but you missed it. You went thirty days, not. 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 Not two weeks. Mm. Not 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 not, thir- not three days. You went thirty plus days. You went sixty plus days. You went ninety days without making a payment. Something what was going on? Even if you're in a hospital, what happened? And if you and if you were in a hospital, cool. Show me yeah. that documentation. You were there. Yeah. Show me that you was in that coma. You couldn't talk. And this is what I know. I know with hard work, prayer, perseverance. You can get through anything. Yeah. There's some people right here that's listening right now that's going through some things. You can get through this. You can get a house. Right. You can get, even outside of a house, you can get out out, out of that situation that you're in right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a difference. There's some people that, hey, hey, I'm people, that was, was down one minute with some hard work, came up out of that situation, yep. and, and on top now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Anybody can do that. It's just, it's just your mindset and what you choose to put your energy into and your efforts into. Exactly. Yeah. And and, and it's it's your mindset. You hear those, you ain't say your mama's mindset. You ain't say your kid's mindset. You say your mindset. So what do you control? You control your mindset. You control the decisions you make. You control the words that come out of your mouth. You control what you allow, what we just talked about, what you allow to come in. So again, if I'm getting super tunnel focus, right, I'm not listening. Maybe I need to take a break off of social media. Maybe I don't need to listen to that stuff right now. Say that one more game. Man, I need to take a break, a break off social media. Have you have you done that before? And, and how, how, did, how did you feel? Well, the thing is, that's what a lot of people don't know. Somebody else runs that social media stuff for me. Mm. So I don't even run it like that. I can't keep up. I can't. I can't. So yeah. so I'm blessed enough to run, have somebody run it for you yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So that's one. I don't run that stuff. They know what I like. They know what I'm. I, I, they know what I like to post. What I talk about. I may send them something and say, "Hey, let's talk about that. Let's go to that." Yeah, I, I post the stuff with my kids. That's of course that's me. I'm, I'm doing it right there. Right. But other stuff that about work or whatever. No, they 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 post it for me. Do you get drained sometimes when you Absolutely. when you go on social media? With- Absolutely. Because you you because you're human, right? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sitting here saying, "Oh, this person." Let's talk about from a professional standpoint. Oh, they got closings. I ain't had no closing. I gotta go find something to post. That's counter. That's counter. That's counterproductive. <laughs> they, I, I don't have no closing. They post them out of closing, but I feel insignificant, so I'm going to go post something. That's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. I'm being. Honest. Is that human human nature though, that, right? Yeah, camera, so I'm telling you, you, that's what they. That's what happens. <laughs> I've done it. I'm telling you, camera world. So that's what happens. So so so, yeah. so do you feel a certain <laughs> way when you the only when you. You graduate. You gra- congratulating more than somebody congratulating you. Like it's some some agents, which I love. I think we should all g- congratulate each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, let right. me start by saying that. But when you find yourself doing most of the congratulating, that you ain't, <laughs> ain't nobody really congratulating you or something. Did you feel it? You think as a professional, you you feel a certain kind of way? Um, for me, no, because I, I don't. Because I don't, I don't do this for likes. Right. So, so I'm not doing it for likes. But yeah. I understand where you're coming from because if, if if my mindset is I'm only congratulating you so that you can congratulate me, then yeah, you've already lost. No, no, no. I, I was talking about it in, in terms of uh, you doing all the congratulating that mm-hmm. you don't have nothing. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah, you don't have nothing to post. Right. So you 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 you, you like that's when you start like Man, I got to post something. So yeah. then you start you start reaching. Yeah. You know you start reaching. You start posting stuff that has nothing to do with your career. You have stuff. stuff Posting that has nothing to do with your family or nothing right. to do with your career, no, nothing to do with what you do every day. Think about that. I'm, I'm going to start posting. All of a sudden, I'm posting, hey, y'all y'all go check out this food truck. Yeah, they had good macaroni and cheese. <laughs> what? What? That has nothing to do with what you do. Right. Nothing. Right. All of a sudden, oh, man, um, I, I see I see Sean can post about, about you know, about, about flipping houses and all that. Let me start posting about flipping houses. Bro, I don't flip houses. I invest. Right. I don't swing a nail. Chasing trends. I I, I don't. Oh, oh, oh well, they, they talk about this two for one buy down, ladies and gentlemen. I think I said this in the previous show, but I'm gonna say it again, just in case. A two for one buy down at an interest rate is nothing new. We we were we were doing it back in 2008 and 2010 when interest rates were what they were higher. Mm. 
because we want to do what? We want to show you that you can go into a house and you could possibly refinance that mortgage, but you can get a more of a comfortable payment for you, right? right. It was no reason to do a two for one buy now when interest rates were at 3%. Because why? You're at 3%. You should be able to afford that. We want to do buy down to a 1% rate. You may not need to be in a house if you got to be at 1%. Mm. So, so, so let's flip it, right? Now rates are more at like around that seven, seven and a half percent. Okay, well, two for one buy down, get me that five to five and a half for a year, right? Six to six and a half for second year two. But then year three, we're going to be at that note rate. Mm-hmm. And guess what? You still have to qualify at, at the note rate. But again, it's nothing new. Right. Right? Buyer, you can't qualify. I mean, you can't contribute to a temporary buy down. The buyer cannot. Who can? The seller slash builder, the realtor. Yeah. Y'all can contribute to it. The agent, I mean, excuse me, the lender. I can contribute to it, but that's not for the buyer because we're supposed to be doing something to help the buyer get into the home. So are you seeing a lot of those come across your desk? Oh, absolutely. Of, okay. Absolutely. And and it's funny because, you know, now you, you get some agents say, well, what about two-for-one buy-down, Terrence? Oh, they don't qualify for a mortgage, so there's no two-for-one buy-down. Like, two-for-one buy-down doesn't help you qualify for the mortgage. Right. Two-for-one buy-down helps your payment in the event that, you know, you you need to see, you know, hey, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a new attorney. I know my income is going to grow in the next two to three years. Right. So for make me feel comfortable, you know, or I'm a new doctor, right? I, I'm, 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 I'm doing my, what do you call it? My residency. I know my income's going to change in the next couple of years. That's what it's for. Respectfully, it's not for the hourly employee working at Bojangles. It's not. Res- respectfully, it's not. Yeah. Can we do it for you? Absolutely. But if you're at $15 an hour in income, two years from now, where's your income probably going to be? Right. And, I, and I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm giving, as, as you say in, in our opening, the real. Yeah. That's, that's, that's real talk. So if you want me to come on here and just talk about stuff that, that's fantasy land, then again, I'm chasing a trend. I'm not going to chase that. I'm not going to chase that because it's not real. So chasing a trend, you, you said something that was interesting and we was talking about content. So mm-hmm. everybody now is chasing and, and searching for content. Yeah. I know we had some conversations <laughs> offline about content. Right. What, what do you, what, what do you think about it? Where, think, where the content is going, or what do you, what do you think is good content versus bad content yeah, to so, you? To me, yeah. So I, maybe it's not necessarily bad content. It's just what are we posting about? Like what are we talking about? So I think that you know, I think it's a fine line. You know, hey, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a professional. This is what I do, but I'm 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 a post. You know, me at the club. Why? 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 What's what's going to be? Who am I trying to attract? Yeah. What, what client am I trying to attract with that? What professional am I trying to attract with that? I'm not saying I'm going to the club. Hell, I went to the other day. I think it's a great time, right? But but it's a time and place for it, right? Everything's a time and place. So if again, if it's a, if it's an image that you're trying to portray, or not even trying to portray, but if, it's, if you're trying to show your image of what you do and how you do it, then you got to post the things that are relevant to you, right? Mm-hmm. Because if we start chasing again, chasing trends, but then you know, Ed, you are the the, the real estate. You know, rapper, right? You you got that moniker, mm-hmm. your Ed Averett, your Ava Home Group, and all that. And if you post something tonight talking about some chicken wings, what are we talking about? Right. You lost me. Yeah. I know you as these people. I know what you do for a living. I know you like chicken wings. What are we talking about? Yeah. And so I, I think we should start chasing. And then, and then, and if that's what you do, good. That's for you. Yeah. But again, I think there was a there was there was something out there. And and again, it's about your ego. It's about whatever you're chasing. But 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 look at this. Um, and it was kind of funny. But hold on one second. And as we continue to talk, I can't t- put, can't put these people on hold. Um, but yeah, so but, but but social media gives people egos they don't have in person. Mm. Social media <laughs> gives people egos that they don't have in person. Yeah. How many times have somebody liking your stuff? You're liking your stuff, but you see you see each other in person, and don't speak. Mm. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, it so reminds me of like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, you know we all like you know scared of the, of the Wiz or the Wizard of Oz, and then you meet him and you'd be like, right? Oh, that's how I'm, oh, right. I kick him in his throat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm the same person. Yeah, I, I don't I don't add no filter to my picture. I, I am who I am. You yeah. see me? That's that's no filters, dog. No, no filter, man. Right, filter, no, we about to, you know, you about to make some people mad. Nah, some Yo, people no, like, <laughs> ain't there, ain't nothing wrong with a little help every now and then. You know, what I'm man, saying? man, yeah. I, I, when you put that filter on, sometimes I don't know who you are. So maybe if I don't see, <laughs> I didn't know who you was. <laughs> I'm going back to the picture. The picture shows you, you know, six foot five, you know, you know, tall, dark, and handsome. And then when I meet you, you know, you're five two and you're light skinned. Like I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. So yeah, so that's 
that's that part of it too, brother. Yeah, yeah. I think image is 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 a big part of it. I think a lot of us do, you know, taste trends by default. You know, um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, marketing that I do like. Yeah. That's outside of the box. That's not traditional. Yeah. That I think is cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think when what I was talking about is just chasing trends when that's all you you know some of those people that's all they talk about is the topics of the day what's drake doing what's yeah. kanye doing yeah. what's do, what are you doing that's right. that's what i'm saying absolutely we just have to shift our focus because while we're concentrating on the trend and all this stuff there's some laws that are being re- rewritten yeah there's some you know some some serious stuff that's happening these prices on houses are going up interest mm-hmm. rates going up mm-hmm. all all the stuff that really matters to us and affects us it's happening mm-hmm. while we're chasing, while we're on TikTok and we chasing the trend. Mm-hmm. We just chase, I'm just seeing a lot of that and hearing that. Yeah. And, it's just, and it's so close and near and dear to me. I just had a conversation with my kids about it. Yeah. What do you think about that? I said, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. care. I really don't care at this point. I, I'm yeah. about to go to radio station. I don't, I don't just, care. Just, just a few weeks ago, we were talking about Donald Trump. He talks about launching an investigation into what he did, what he got at home, what, what, what secret materials that he, they found and all that. What was the last time you heard something about that? Mm. You know, you know the last thing I heard about Donald Trump? I heard he's trying to make America great again by running in 2024. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's what I heard. I, I don't know what party you're going to run under, but, but, but that's what I heard. Right. Yeah. So that's what, that's, that's what we're talking about when you're chasing. If you're not selling out for one thing, you're selling out for many things and you're not being um, a true, you're not, you're not being true to yourself. Right. And again, you have a powerful tool in front of you because yes, you have, you know, some friends who actually follow you and my job ain't to report the news. My job ain't to report what's going on. My job is to to make it make it make sense. Right. You know, my job is to make make me better. Yeah. That's my job. My job is to promote my community and to promote within or how I can help you. That's our job. That's what we do. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what we do. Hundred percent. I, I mean, you know, if, if I'm enjoying you to a paint and sip, I'm enjoying to a paint and sip. But guess what? You gonna have some. You gonna learn something about some real estate. You gonna learn something. You gonna learn something valuable information in front of you as I'm gonna be able to put in your hand because we're not just. I mean, again, I'm not just here to just entertain you i'm here to you know hopefully provoke a thought so that it helps you do what helps you execute your plan what is your goal absolutely i know what my goals are my goal is to put folks in homes what's your goal absolutely a great okay. show man i know you about to great wrap us great up. great show great how can how can they reach you t oh man uh mr Erico, wash here we go wash we are still here uh area code 215 Area code 215 you guys you can google terrence it's t-e-r-e-n-c-e um, guests, G-U-E-S-S, all social media outlets, all that good stuff. I'll tell you this, though. I just gave you my telephone number. It's kind of hard, man. When people be DMing you and all that good stuff, I don't always get right back to it because I don't be looking at it like that. Right, but call right. me. Number's out there, call. Yeah. Shoot me a text. That's like, you know, you go. Th- th- that kind of thing. How about you, E? How can I feed you? Uh, they can hit me at 678-761-5198. They can also hit me up on all social media platforms under Ed, the Rapper Real Estate Agent, or Ava Home Group. Great show, man. Phenomenal show. Hey, hey, hey. That word, phenomenal. Phenomenal. And thank y'all for listening. Make sure you download that Pod Beam app. Yeah. Um, it's it's like what, 35 shows on there now? 35 shows. It's very guess what? It's free, right? It's free. It's free. 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 Under free real estate. Free real estate. Do y'all go, man? See y'all soon.